Hello, my world literature class. God bless everyone. We are now done with the stories on creation, on God's stories. And now we're going to talk about our stories of love and adventure. So here are the objectives of today's lecture. Recognize microcosm microcosm and celebrated Greek and Roman love stories. We're going to formulate personal concepts and perceptions of love. And uh, we're going to illustrate the relationship of love to the discovery and awareness of oneself, generate the significance of the story on a personal and communal level. So basically, these are the out this is the outline of my lecture today, or maybe of storytelling. We have the Cupid and Psyche, Pyramus and Thesbe, Orpheus and Eurydice, and uh, Sates and Alphion. And Pygmalion and Galatea. So we have here Cupid and Psyche. Of course, uh, when we say Cupid, it's very famous and very common. Uh, you're familiar with this one. So the love story between Cupid and Psyche is that uh, at that point in time, uh, Cupid was trying to hit Psyche, but uh, hit himself instead and uh, hit someone to be in love with Psyche. Someone who is not good enough for psyche, and at this point in time, he was able to 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 put the arrow to himself or hit himself. So he was in love with in the end. He was the one who got in love with psyche. So it, it was a nice uh, story, and uh, that's just a brief uh, brief review of the story. And now we move to Pyramus and this day. Uh, Pyramus and this they were have gone together, and uh, these are two lovers from Babylon, and they are neighbor. They were neighbors, but their houses are adjacent to each other. But they have a very hostile relationship with each other. The families have hostile relationship with each other, so they were not able to talk uh, peacefully. They were not able to to build a relationship, why? Because of their family relationship. So what, uh, they usually talk behind the cracks of their wall. So they could just whisper to each other through the walls of their houses. So they decided to meet uh, outside their houses, outside their vicinity, and meet and under a mulberry tree. So the girl, the woman decided to go first and meet the man in that place. But while she was waiting, a lion came and um, about to devour her. So she was so frightened that she ran to a cave, a nearby cave, and she hid there. So the man came and saw some blood on uh, the place, so thinking she was already dead. So what the man did was to kill him, uh, kill, kill himself because her first love. Uh, he thought that the her, her his first love was already dead, and so came the woman from the cave, cave, and uh, when he saw uh -huh. he the his men um, on the ground, he also tried to kill, kill herself. So it was a sad, very sad love story. And then we have the love story of Aristides and Eurydice. It was a very uh, first love story, first love at first sight. So what they did was uh, they they got married and it was a um, nice love story. But of course there's always um, an antagonist. So a man uh, ran for Eurydice. So they 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 tried to clean the woods, but then Eurydice was able to step on a snake. So she was killed by the snake, and it was it ended as a very sad story. And then we also had the Sakes and Alcyon. Alcyon, it was um, a story wherein it is part of like uh, Zeus was there also, and they were the first first uh, kingfisher. They they were cursed by Zeus because uh, uh, Zeus, I guess, uh, liked the women. So when they were traveling in the waters, Zeus tried to to, to throw them some. Thunderbolt and it killed the man. When the woman saw that woman saw that the man was killed, that the man of her life was killed and was thrown in the waters, she also threw herself into the water. So they were the first uh, kingfisher. 
made by Zeus. And it was also a sad rock story. And then we had a Pygmalion and Galatea. This uh, story on, like, it's a sculptor. The man in here was a sculptor and Pygmalion made the Pygmalion. And then he was in love with his sculptor Galatea, which he named Galatea. So she was, uh, he tried to, to make Galatea into a, a normal woman. And uh, she tried to put some accents into his sculpture, and they were in. And he was in love with his with his artwork. Of course, uh, these are wonderful stories. If you're going to read every detail or watch the video clips, uh, which will be posted again on our GC, to have a very broad uh, perspective of the of this love stories you will be in love okay now that we have exhausted all of these love stories from our word literature now that we have all known the heroic roles of these uh, heroes in our love stories mabuhay tayong lahat again and then here are my references again and again i i want to tell you that i won't give you any assignment for today any submissions for today because you had enough Okay, so all I want for you is just to comply with the requirements I have uh, given you and uh, come up with all of this until our due date. Or if you are not able to finish everything, then please uh, send me a message. I'm open. And we will never forget our good vibes line. All we have to do to decide is what to do with the time that is given to us. So again, I am Marie Daisy Garal and uh, this is our world of greater class. Mabuhay kayong lahat. I love you all.